Abrams Landing in the northern part of Fort McMurray. This RV park opened in June to house evacuees from the Fort McMurray wildfire who either had their homes destroyed or damaged. Right now, there are about 145 RVs here, housing hundreds. Some are families with children. Slash. Shirley Benson lives with her husband and her dogs in a trailer. Good boy. We're all scrambling for where we're going to live. There's apartments are way overpriced. You know, uh, they don't accept, most of them don't accept dogs. The city says residents can stay in the trailer park until the end of October. After that, Benson and others say they don't know what their families will do. I'm worried about some of the neighbors. Some of them have young kids. I have a neighbor across the road with two young kids. At another lot, Carrie Farrell and her two children are coloring. She's angry she didn't have advance warning about the park's closure. I just want to make a note that no one from the municipality has been in to visit anybody here, which is kind of sickening. The city says it told RVers that this park was only a temporary solution. It also says that it has adjusted its bylaws so RVers here can park outside homes. Right now, it's going to the province of Alberta to ask it for money so that it can build temporary shelter for people who are homeless. David Thurton, CBC News, Fort McMurray.